خنزير آخر فار تم تصويته على. This is the vehicle of Hevrin Halep, the leader of the Kurdish political movement. She was traveling in northeastern Syria on October 12th, three days after Turkey launched an offensive in the region. Hevrin and other passengers were eventually killed by armed rebels. According to a medical report, she was dragged from her vehicle and then executed. Rebels, backed by Turkey, who were spotted in the area, say they weren't involved. On the same day, in the same area, we know a separate execution was also likely carried out. And using photos and videos from that area, we can connect a few dots between the two killings and shed light on who might be behind these attacks. This is a Syrian photographer who was traveling with the Turkish-backed rebel group Ahrar al-Sharkiya. He recorded this video the morning of October 12th, when the group temporarily took control of a checkpoint on the strategic M4 highway that runs through northeastern Syria. Kurdish political leader Hevrin Khalif's vehicle was traveling on the M4 through this point when it was shot and those inside were killed. We can figure out exactly where this happened by looking at a video from a Kurdish journalist uploaded a few days after the ambush. Using visual clues, such as power lines or a roadside culvert, we can place the location here on the M4 highway. Other videos, some uploaded by Harar al sharkia on Twitter, then later deleted, can be used to link the group to the same location. <laughs> Structures in the background, like a building with arches, and a checkpoint building match with the Kurdish journalist's video. One of the videos, uploaded on encrypted messaging app Telegram, shows the apparent extrajudicial killing of someone on the side of the road with their hands tied behind their back. Both videos feature two captives that Ahrar al sharkia has said they captured. One now-deleted tweet even featured a photo of the group's leader posing with the captives. Both captives are reportedly medical workers. Ahrar al sharkia has denied wrongdoing. A spokesman for the Turkish-backed rebel group as a whole, the Syrian National Army, initially denied they had even advanced that far from the border. They now say it's under investigation. Yet the visual evidence clearly links Ahrar al-Sharkia's presence to where both the roadside summary execution and Hevron's death took place. The United Nations has urged Turkey to investigate the incidents. Since Turkey's offensive started in northeastern Syria, international human rights groups have voiced concern over multiple war crimes across the region. This is just one of those cases. <laughs>